In a world where usurers are a dime a dozen, land is sacred, and prostitutes are not what they appear to be. One man puts it all on the line in a high-stakes game of greed and deception in order to win back his land and the hand of the woman he loves. It's Thomas Middleton's Justice League, a trick to catch the old. Starring Superman as Theodorus Whitgood. I fight for truth, justice, and the Cordeson way. Wonder Woman as Joyce. My lasso of truth compels you to marry me. Batman as Pecunious Lucre. I'll see to it that your land stays locked up in a London asylum. The Joker as Walkadeen Horde. Hi, Jack Nicholson, aka Jack Napier, aka The Joker, aka Walkadeen Horde. How the hell are ya? The Flash as Sam Freedom. <laughs> hey guys, uh, how's it going? Aquaman as Money Love. Bro. Can you tell your niece I said what's up? And introducing Godzilla, King of the Monsters, as Cordison Widow Jane Medler. <laughs> Say best invention, stay. I prithee, make me not mad at my own weapon. Stay, be not contrary. Dost love me? Fate has so cast it that all my means I must derive from thee. Spoke like an honest drab, a faith. It may prove something. What trick is not an embryon at first? until a perfect shape come over it. So, 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 thou shalt presently take thy name, and form upon thee of a rich country widow, four hundred a year valiant in woods, in bollocks, in barns, and in rye stacks. Wheel to London, and to my covetous uncle. Hast thou the conscience to tell me so, without any impeachment to thyself? Thou that canst defeat thy own nephew Lucre, lap his lands into bonds, and take the extremity of thy kindred's forfeitures, because he's a rioter, a waste thrift, a brothel master, and so forth. What may a stranger expect from thee, but you'll ne'er a de la carcerta, or whatever the hell they were trying to say with that one. As the poet says, de la carcerta, you know what the hell I'm trying to say. Uprates thou me with nephew? It's all imputation laid upon me. What acquaintance have I with his follies? If he riot, tis he must want it. If he surf it, tis he must feel it. If he drab it, tis he must lie. But what's this to me? What's all to thee? Nothing, nothing. Such is the gulf of thy desire and the wolf of thy conscience. But reassured, old pecunious Lubre. If ever fortune so bless me, that I may be at leisure to vex thee, or any means to favor me, then I may have the opportunity to be mad at thee. I will pursue it with the flame of hate and the spirit of malice, unrepressed wrath, that I will blast thy comforts. You know what I'm trying to say. Ha ha ha. I will so cross thee. And I thee. 
so without mercy fret thee, so monstrously oppose thee, dost scoff at me. I'm sorry, that was my line. Dost scoff at my just anger. Oh, that I had as much power as usury has over thee. I don't appreciate you taking my lines. Then thou wouldst have as much power as the devil has over thee, you toad. Aspect, serpent, viper! You're just gonna keep going? How was that? A word, uh, good signor? Sam, bro. How now? What's the news? Tis given me to understand that you are a rival of mine in the love of Mistress Joyce, Master Hort's niece. Say me eh? Say me no? <laughs> yes, tis so. Then look to yourself. You cannot live long. I'm practicing every morning. A month hence I'll challenge you. Bro, give me your hand upon it. There's my pledge. I'll meet you. Oh, oh, what reason had you for that, sir, to strike? You knew I was not ready for you, and that made you so crank. I'm not such a coward to strike again. I warrant you, my ear has the law of her side for it burns horribly. I'll teach him to strike a naked face, the longest day of his life. Slit it shall cost me some money, but I'll bring this box into the chancery. But tis not likely to choose for me. Since nephew to your chiefest enemy, is he whom I affect? But, oh forgetful, why dost thou flatter thy affection so, with the name of him that for a widow's bed, neglects thy pure love? Can it be so? Or does report disassemble? Or dissemble? Pardon my accent. How now, sir? A letter which came with private charge. Baron, I thank you, care. I know this hand. Dearer than sight, what the world reports of me, yet believe not. Rumor will alter shortly. But thou constant, I am still the same that I was in love, and I hope to be the same in fortunes. Theodorus Whitgood. I am resolved no more shall I fear or doubt. Raise their pale powers to keep affection out. Hark thee, widow, train out young Whitgood single. Hasten him thither with thee, somewhat before the hour. Where at the place appointed, these gentlemen and myself will wait the opportunity when, by some slight removing him from thee, will suddenly enter and surprise thee. Carry thee away by boat to Coal Harbor, have a priest ready, and there clap it up instantly. How likest it, widow? I'll kiss thee for those words. Come, gentlemen, still must I live a suitor to your favors, still to your aid beholding. Tis for your honors, gentlemen. Nay, look to it. Not only in joy, but I in wealth excel. No more sweet widow, but sweet wife, farewell. Damn, she's thicker than a weak old bowl of oatmeal. 